these fish we're seeing today, I mean, it's pretty neat that they came from the ocean. They bypass straight bass and tuna and whatever other fish are out there. And now they're in the rivers and they basically run out of gas because they hit these dams. These fish are anadromous fish. They migrate in the spring um, from the ocean to spawn. And it's kind of a neat progression. Early spring, you'll see the outwives first. And then you'll see a mixture of hickory shad and American shad show up and then the blueback herring. Before the dams were built, you know, way back in the 1700s, 1800s, these fish would migrate long distances in freshwater streams. In the Susquehanna River, they'd go all the way up into New York. But then around 1800s, 1900s, people built dams to run mills, and that blocked off this historic habitat for these fish, which is one of the reasons these fish have declined. Today, we're at the Wilson's Mill Fish Ladder. Uh, we're in Deer Creek. It's a tributary to the Susquehanna River. This fish ladder was built in the late 90s, and it's designed to get fish around man-made structures. What you're seeing right here is the attraction flow. This is the entrance to the ladder. It looks really rough, but it actually slows the water down enough that these fish can come through here and go right up to the top of the ladder and get around the dam. The Fish Passage Program was started in 1987 as part of a Bay Program initiative to rebuild populations of migratory fish. And back then, the thing to do was to build fish ladders. And they're largely successful. I mean, they do work, they do pass fish, but they're not as efficient as taking out a dam. So now we're kind of moving away from fish ladders into dam removals. It's a far more effective way of passing fish, and it also addresses public safety. We've had some dams where people have drowned below them, uh, their liabilities. Many dams are no longer being used, so it just makes sense to take them out now. Of course, a lot of these dams are on private property, and it's, it's difficult sometimes to convince a landowner to put a fish ladder on or to take a dam out. These dams are expensive to maintain, and if they can't afford to maintain it and they're not using it, they could get some grant money through my program and through some federal programs to remove that dam uh, and restore passage for fish. They could have some, maybe some spawning fish above their property that they could catch recreationally.